Art brings me to a place where I feel at home, in a life where there's been rapid reversals, from a happy united family to an unhappy scattered one, from intense discipline to chaos. As a very young child, I love to create art. This love has stayed with me forever. My life changed profoundly at 13. I went to a new school. This was very disruptive. I was in a car accident with some of my family. My father and brother were injured. My mother was killed. So my world as I knew it was lost. My sister was forced to become mother to the family. Life was very stressful. I was searching in the dark, trying to find out who I was. I gave up art. Discovering the school art room gave me a place to escape and find freedom to move. It was a calm space. After I completed school, life was again unfocused and had no direction, so art was forgotten once more. An artist friend of mine encouraged me to become a life model. My first attempt at modelling was thwarted. Fate had intervened. The class already had a life model, and I was invited to draw with the class. The results were remarkable. I found art again and began painting. Painting prolifically felt emotionally liberating. I rediscovered a lost part of myself. I joined several art studios, enjoying the social aspects and support as well as the creative inspiration of the collective environment. I eventually found my chance to be a model with 5,000 other people for the American photographer Spencer Tunick. Being naked with all these other people on Princess Bridge at 5am on a freezing cold and rainy morning felt liberating. It was intoxicating to be part of somebody else's creative process. It was a powerful experience. I travelled to New York. I submerged myself in the art scene. Boy, was it inspiring. In 2004, I was in a group show. My paintings were noticed by Steve Weizart and his wife Sarah, who commissioned me to create a large work. I will never stop painting. <laughs>